Once you start to learn a little bit about what I'm about, it starts to make a little bit more sense because I'm not about the magic bean. I'm not about the magic bullet. I'm not about the secret sauce that if you'll sprinkle it over your food, all of a sudden your life is that much better. I'm all about the little tweaks, the little things that will change your life. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds. It's the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Minisode. 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 All right, first of all, I'm going to tell you what this episode is not. Okay, this is not a, here's all the tools, the tricks, the tips, the hacks, the everything else that Dustin uses to make his life easier episode. Okay, this is not an all-inclusive list today. Uh, I simply want to share with you a couple of things that I think will make your life better. One of those, of course, is ANOW Software. Make your life easier with ANOW Software because you don't have to worry about how to keep track of everything in your office. And I'm talking financially. I'm talking about um, the the process of the appraisal. I'm talking about your schedule and, and everything that goes into running a business. Check it out. Go to anow.com slash coach. One more time, anow.com slash coach. Coach. Okay, folks, I want to share with you. I, I was driving down the road yesterday and I just had this thought that there are so many little things that I do. In fact, I wasn't driving down the road, I was being driven down the road. I'll get to that in a second. And in fact, that's actually what prompted this episode. I was being driven, I was in the passenger seat driving down the road working on an appraisal, and I thought to myself, damn, there's some pretty cool things and tools and ideas and processes that I use that just make life easier. Here's the thing, and, I, and I've talked about this before. A lot of times people hear about the appraiser coach, and maybe they'll go to my website and they'll see that, that you know, there's some, there's some quote-unquote claims on there that thing just seem outrageous, right? Just seem like they just could not be done. Like, come on, not there's no way that he's running that type of business. And people get skeptical and sometimes they get angry and sometimes they get, you know, snarky online. Okay, whatever. That's fine, okay? But here's the thing. Once you start to learn a little bit about what I'm about, it starts to make a little bit more sense because I'm not about the magic bean. I'm not about the magic bullet. I'm not about the secret sauce that if you'll sprinkle it over your food, all of a sudden your life is that much better. I'm all about the little tweaks, the little things that will change your life. You've heard me tell the story about the pickles at McDonald's, right? If you don't remember the story, it's in my Go Create Some Value workshop, okay? And I talk about this word kaizen, which is a, a Japanese word that basically, I mean, there's a lot of definitions, but basically, at least to me, it means little tweaks, little improvements that make a big difference overall, okay? And one of those was the, the pickles at McDonald's. It's the little things, okay, that, that make a difference. It's the streamlining that happens not in a short amount of time, but in a, in a long period of time, okay? It's the long game. It's the, it's the, well, it doesn't happen overnight. Let's put it that way, okay? It's doing more with the same or higher quality, okay? Let me repeat that. It's doing more with the same or higher quality. Because here, and, and I stress that part because when I tell people about the efficiencies and the ability to, I'll give you an example. Yesterday, I was on a coach call with an individual who came to me and uh, he was doing 25 appraisals a month, which is very typical, by the way. Most appraisers do anything on a single man shop, do anything between 20 and 40 appraisals a month, okay? 40 is really stretching it. So if you're doing more than that, you're out of out of the norm, if you will. Okay. Well, folks, you know I do four times, uh, five times that in my office, and sometimes people look at that and they immediately think that if you're doing that kind of volume, then you are a schmuck, right? If you're doing that kind of volume, it's because you are um, cutting corners. It's because you are 
you are sacrificing quality in order to get, quote unquote, speed or efficiency. And folks, let me just tell you, it's not true. If you know anything about my business, and you can ask any of my mastermind students, because I get very intimate with my, don't take that too far. I get very intimate with my mastermind students, right? We open up our books. I talk about my fees. I talk about my volume. They talk about their fees and their volume and their books and their overhead and their payroll. I mean, you name it, folks, it, there is no sacred cows in the uh, appraisal uh, dream team mastermind. You go there to get better, and you can't get better if you're not transparent. And so they come, and they talk, and they, and they see me. You can ask any of my mastermind students, and every one of them will report to you that it's not one big thing. It's a lot of little things. It's a lot of fixing. It's a lot of improving. It's a lot of, for lack of a better term, folks, it's tweaks. Okay, The title of this episode is going to be Life Tweaks to Make You Better. Okay, and by the way, I chose the word life, not because I'm going to go into, into all of the ideas such as um, the fact that I typically wear the same outfit every day, right? Um, because I just don't have to think about it. I found that I look good in blue, dark blue. And so I usually wear a dark blue shirt and I usually wear khaki pants or, or jeans. Okay. And, and I learned that long ago that I don't want to sit in my closet and spend 15 seconds picking out my clothes because that's 15 seconds that I could be using on other things. Right. So I'm not going to be going into those, even though I just did, I'm not going to be going into life hacks as far as that goes. I'm going to be mostly talking about business here and specifically mostly talking about appraisals. Okay. But the bottom line is this is all about your life. Because let's face it, as an appraiser, most of us, our life is appraising, right? There's no separating and saying, okay, right now I am an appraiser, and now I am a dad, and now I am a husband, and now I am an aunt, and now I am, I mean, fill in the blank, right? We don't jump from role to role. We typically, yes, we do certain things as a, as a mother, right? We do certain things as an appraiser, right? But we're always everything. We just are. A lot of us work out of our house and those things mix and merge like, like a constant flow. Okay. So the point is folks, I'm going to share with you some things, just a few things. And again, I started the episode by saying, this is not an all inclusive list. I'm just going to quickly, this is a mini sode, not a maxi sode. Okay. This is not a full episode. This is just a mini sode. So I'm just going to throw these out. Okay. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I'm just going to tell you what they are. And just trust me, every one of these things have made my life better. Another thing that's made my life better is A-Now Software. A-Now, of course, well, it's a management system, folks, but it's so much more than that. It was created by an appraiser for appraisers. Okay, think about that. Here's an individual who ran a very successful appraisal business. Yes, it was in Canada, but it's no different than here in, in the U.S. Here's a guy that ran a very successful appraisal office. His name was Marty. And he said, you know what? There's got to be a better way to do things. And he created a software that will blow your mind away. Literally, I'm not exaggerating, folks. Anow software, anow.com slash coach, anow.com slash coach. Welcome back to the program, folks. We're talking today about life tweaks, mostly business tweaks, but there's going to be a few life tweaks in there. I've already given you one. Um, in fact, I've already given you two. I talked about uh, this whole episode came about because I was driving on the road. I had my laptop in my lap, literally, and I'm in the passenger seat, and we're doing about 75 miles an hour down the freeway, and I'm banging out these, these appraisal inspections, right? or, or not inspections, but write-ups. I'd done the inspection earlier in the day. I have a great, great staff who put everything together and then shot it back to me, and I downloaded it to my laptop. And uh, by the way, a la mode allows you, at no extra cost, by the way, to have a copy of Total on your laptop that's completely disconnected from your server. And so I don't need, I don't need internet while I'm driving down the road to work on an appraisal. I get a lot done that way. Now, I don't personally do a lot of write-ups anymore, but every once in a while, we get super busy. We have been lately. 
and uh, it's sure nice to have that laptop. In fact, that's one of the tweaks, is make sure you have a fast, light, and portable laptop, okay? You will find that you can get so much more done. By the way, carry it with you wherever you go. I have a bag that I take with me that has my laptop in it. And literally, I can't tell you how often I stop at a coffee shop or at a restaurant or you name it, right? I'm driving down the road. I need to get something done. I have a little time. If I didn't have that laptop, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. I get so much done. Maybe I, I bang out a blog post or um, you know, I, I, I do a revision request or something like that. It's so nice to have that. I, I use, uh, by the way, the, uh, the Lenovo, uh, ThinkPad. It's the, uh, Carbon X1. Absolutely amazing machine. Less than two pounds. Well, about two pounds. Maybe it's 2.3. Super fast. The, uh, the i7 8th gen Intel processor. Awesome. Now, some of you are going to listen to this in three years and go, okay, Dustin, that's, that's nice. All right, a couple other things. Get a driver, folks. Have somebody that you can utilize on a moment's notice. I only use a driver about once a week anymore. I used to use it all the time when I was doing more write-ups. Uh, lately, we've just been overwhelmed. And rather than, than turn that work down, I'm utilizing my drive time. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, Dustin, it's only 20, 30 minutes to an inspection. Yeah, well, double that because you got to come back, right? That's an hour that you could be doing something. Could you pay some kid $12 an hour to drive you around while you're doing stuff? By the way, uh, shout out to uh, Mastermind student Laura. Uh, the other day, she attended the, uh, the Mastermind from the backseat of her car. I thought that was super cool. <laughs> um, yeah, she gets it. She gets it, okay? Uh, go paperless, folks. I know it's hard. I've talked about it here on this uh, on this microphone before, but go paperless. It is so much easier once you get it. And yes, it's going to be hard while you're getting there. Yes, it's going to be a transition. As with all of these things, right? Let's just put that out there. There's going to be a learning curve. But once you learn, I cannot ever see. If somebody came to me and said, Dustin, you can't go paperless anymore. It's against the rules. You got to have a paper trail of everything, a physical paper trail. I literally, I think, would would uh, would go back to eating sweets. I'd be so depressed. All right. Uh, get a laser measure. I specifically use the X4, the Disto X4. It's like 350 bucks on Amazon, folks. That's half as much as I paid for my original laser, and this does 10 times the work. Awesome, awesome laser. Well, Dustin, I use a Bosch. Okay, great, fine. Um, get a mobile device and use it. Okay, well, Dustin, I've got a smartphone. Yeah, but are you using it on inspections? I get this question all the time. What iPad do you use, Dustin? Uh, none. I don't use an iPad anymore, folks. I use my, uh, right now I have an X or a yeah, iPhone. Uh, I don't have an X. I'm getting there. Uh, I have an iPhone, uh, what is this, an 8 Plus. Love it. Perfect screen size, if you ask me. By the way, uh, shout out to uh, Brian, uh, who who gave me the idea of going to a Plus. Uh, she talked me into going to the 6 Plus, and I hated her for two weeks for it. Uh, and then I, I love her and praise her name ever since. All right. Cross-train your employees. That's another life life hack, right? Life, life tweak. Cross-train your employees. Folks, it's so nice to be able to say, hey, June, I know you normally answer phones, but guess what? John is out today, so you're going to be answering phones and doing some data entry. Okay, Get your employees cross-trained and make sure that you help them to do that on a regular basis. I'll do an episode, a full episode on how to cross train your employees coming up. Okay. Um, VoIP system, voice over IP, get it, use it, especially if you have VAs. That's another life tweak. Get some VAs and get them from the Philippines. Yeah. Maybe that's racist, but get some, v <laughs> is it racist to, to specifically point out a, a specific country that I I've used VAs all over the world, folks. And I'm sorry, my bet the best ones have come from the Philippines. So get some VAs, get them from the Philippines, use them. These are great people who really work hard to make your life easier. Dual monitors at the very least. I've got triple monitors. I know many that have quadruple monitors, get them, use them. Okay. Another life tweak is I have the exact same. I've got two offices, right? I've got one in my home and I've got one at, um, at my, well, at my office, my brick and mortar. If you saw a picture of these two desks, if it wasn't for the background, you would not be able to tell the difference. 
Okay, they are nearly identical. Same desk, same standing desk. By the way, that's another live tweak. Get a standing desk. I've got the autonomous. It was very cheap, like 350 bucks, and it is awesome. It's a great desk. Okay, um, so if you look at my two setups, I mean, same webcam, same monitor, same orientation, same mouse, um, almost the same uh, keyboard. It's it's a it's a titch different in both areas. Same fan. You know, uh, I mean, it literally is the same setup. When I'm sitting sitting here, I have to sometimes remind myself where I'm at, literally. Like, oh, am I, am I, oh yeah, okay, I'm at home. I can, I can go grab something out of the fridge, right? Um, life tweak, make sure your setup is easy. Why do I do that? This is a, a perfect mini lesson as to this bigger lesson I'm trying to teach today. Maybe I should have made this into a full episode, but... But the point is, is when I reach out for my mouse, I don't have to think, oh, I'm at this office, therefore the mouse is this kind, okay? And I know you maybe it's subconscious, but trust me, folks, it takes a titch of your energy to do that. It's kind of like I told you about, you know, many, some of you are rolling your eyes with the clothes thing, right? Really, Dustin? It doesn't really take me that long to pick out an outfit that matches. I mean, I get it. It's not like I only have blue shirts in my, in my closet, but I know very successful people that literally do that. Okay, it's where I learned it from, that you open up their closet and literally there is nothing else in their closet except one shirt, okay, 10 times and one pair of pants 10 times and they grab and go. Okay, there's something to that. All right, get enough memory on your phone. You don't have to constantly be downloading your pictures. Okay, it took me a long time to learn that. I kept being cheap and saying, well, the 16's fine. I just have to download it every week. Stupid folks. By the way, speaking of download, I went to Google Photos uh, a couple of months ago. Love it. I don't know why I didn't go earlier. It's free. I already had a Google account. Stupid Dustin. And now I don't have to download anything. I just upload it to the freaking cloud. It does it on its own. It literally takes half a second when I'm standing in, in line at the DMV. It's awesome. Dropbox. Make sure you have it and use it. It's for sending larger files back and forth. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, man, I love Zoom. Zoom.us, folks. That is what I use for my training videos. Speaking of which, get a procedural manual, make it digital, put it online. Yes, even if you are a single person entity, okay? If you're the only worker in your office, you still want a procedural manual. If nothing else, it sets you up to be able to hire, okay? You got to get that set up before you can hire somebody. I talked about a server earlier. I kind of alluded to it, but make sure you have a server, that you can keep everything in one place. Okay, this is where, where Total is going to reside. This is where your files, your zap files are going to be. This is going to be your pictures and everything else is going to be. Okay, everything in one place. Everybody can log in from, from by the way, I have a server webinar on, it's free on my website if you want to check out how I've set up my server and it's awesome. Okay, not the webinar, but the server. Well, the webinar is pretty cool too. Uh, apps on your phone that make your life easier. Okay. This is back to the life tweaks, not just necessarily business, but you know, just little things, folks, just little things like, like Amazon prime app. I mean, I use it all the time. It's so much easier than going to the full website or the mobile website, right? Or, you know, things like Amrock. Amrock has a, has a, um, an app. I think it's called my appraisals and I'm able to accept and update and everything else on the, on the app. So much easier than, than, than going to a full website. Oh, and speaking of apps, Evernote, folks. Man, are, if you're not using Evernote, hat tip to Ernie Durbin, who, who taught me Evernote years ago and sat me down at one of these conferences and says, what do you mean you're not using Evernote? Let me show you. Man, love it. Folks, these are just a few things that I use to make my life easier. They're little, tiny things, but they make a big difference overall. I'll tell you another thing that will make a big, big difference to your business. And yeah, it's a little thing, folks. It's the all-star team. It's $49 a month. Let me tell you just briefly what you get for that, okay? In addition to the full page, full eight-page color newsletter, okay, which is also done in audio format. I record it in audio on this very microphone every single month. You also get a meeting with me every single month and appraisers across the nation where we sit down and we talk about you and your questions and your growth and your goals and your accountability 
and, and, and little things that can make a big difference in your business. In addition to all of that, you also have access to my private network on Facebook. It's a private closed Facebook group where you can ask any question. Folks, that is a very active, active page because appraisers will not get made fun of. They can ask any question they want and they will get expert advice from appraisers across the country. Folks, I'm telling you that alone is worth the cost of entry. All right, folks, thanks for joining me and oh, we'll catch you next time. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach Podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value. I was trying to think of something that mixes and merges well, <laughs> well like a like a great uh, uh, yield sign at a um, uh, at a at a intersect. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs>